It is approximately 10.40 p.m. You can call them. Here you go. A serious buzzkill. Who was under 21? And the heads they leave spinning belong to those who they catch selling alcohol to minors. We got a lot of young girls around here that don't look like it when you see their ID. You get used to seeing certain people. and Make sure if they ask for your ID, you give it to them. If they ask how old you are, tell them the truth. Okay? Mm -hmm. We rode around with the Ohio Investigative Unit. So you guys can talk. All right. Marysville Police. I'm selling beer to intoxicated liquor to an under, underage person. And Union County Sheriff's Office last month. Ultimately, it's going to affect their business. It is approximately 9.15. Their attention is on this one 18-year-old girl. There's people always behind you or in front of you, and they're, like, staring at you like, what is this girl doing? Who we'll call Riley. Utilizing confidential informant for a Union County alcohol compliance check. The adrenaline just is like rushing, like, do they really just sell to me? The team allowed us to shoot them from going store to store and record Riley <laughs> trying to make a buy. There you go. Agents say the reason they do it is to clean up Ohio communities. Bars lead into drugs. Drugs lead into gambling. Gambling leads into food stamp fraud, prostitution. Is this evidence could wind up closing these places down. How strong is that evidence in your type of case? It's very strong. Assistant Columbus City Attorney Bill Sperlaza took 28 businesses to task last year for underage sales, three times as many as the year before. I think that uh, some folks, some bars, some um, carryouts, they just don't care. We take time to evaluate the evidence that is the result of the investigation. And with an 83% success rate, he sent each case to the State Division of Liquor Control to prevent a permit renewal. We don't pick on people. We operate on evidence and on facts. Back in Marysville, a confidential informant bought a strawberry Rita. The team's 15th stop netted the first violation of the night at Village Pantry. I checked everybody. I must have just. I don't know. I, I looked at her ID. I did. I just must not have added it in my head. Clerk Robert Dixon has since pleaded guilty to selling alcohol to a minor, prompting a $500 fine, three years probation, and his termination. What do they do? Do they retain you? Do they fire you? Do they oh, I'm pretty sure I just lost my job. In Union County, Lisa Rontala. Oh, this is lovely. ABC 6 News.